Good morning, it's Tuesday the 8th of March. My name's Tom Elliott and this is my market report. Well, shares on the ASX are weak this morning. Uh, the market was down around 25 points at one stage. It's recovered a little now, just down around 10 points. That was on the back of a pretty weak Monday as well. The reason, of course, anybody who's picked up a newspaper would know why. The oil price is shooting up. In the US, it hit 106 US dollars a barrel. Here in Asia, it's over 120 US dollars a barrel. And the reason behind that, of course, is the ongoing unrest in Libya. Now, uh, if the uh, Libyan rebels and Muammar Gaddafi can come to some sort of an arrangement, I think oil prices will drop back again fairly rapidly. But for the time being, it means that inflation will look higher, petrol prices certainly going higher, and in the Australian economy, which depends so much on uh, transport, and in particular road transport, uh, increased costs of fuel, of course, can have a flow-on effect into groceries and all sorts of other goods. So not good news, and uh, we'll be making the Reserve Bank, which, by the way, decided to leave interest rates on hold last month, uh, some uh, cause for thought. Uh, anyway, uh, all sorts of uh, corporate things happening. Now, Salmat, which is a company that runs call centres and does direct mail outs, their shares dropped quite heavily yesterday, down almost 6%. It seems that a big contract they have with Telstra to run a couple of call centres has been axed by Telstra. Now, it's not clear whether Telstra is just going to get rid of the call centres altogether or perhaps go back to uh, running them internally. But it may shift a, uh, or may signal a shift within Telstra to stop relying upon sort of external customer service operators and start being responsible for its own customer service, which uh, any customer of Telstra would tell you probably isn't such a bad idea. Uh, Channel 10 shares remain weak. Now, what's happening is that uh, Lachlan Murdoch took over the CEO's job for one week. He's now appointed the guy from Seven called James Warburton. That led to the resignation of James Packer from the 10 board because he and Kerry Stokes had an agreement not to poach each other's executives. Um, the, the rumour around 10 is that the uh, acts will be wielded. They're going to have a very close look at the uh, new but not rating very well news format, which has two and a half hours of news and current affairs between 5 and 7.30. The Negus program at 6.30, and, uh, sorry, at 6, and of course the local news at 6.30 are the ones being focused on there. Expect some cost cutting from 10. However, the share price will not move until the market sees evidence of this, and as a result, hopefully better profits and better ratings. Uh, new crash shares have been very strong. Uh, when oil goes up because of increased global risks, you usually see the gold price going up as well. At the moment, gold is hovering around 1440 US dollars an ounce. Uh, that's an all-time record high ever since they started measuring things in US dollars, which of course is about uh, 240 odd years ago. Uh, gold is a reflection of global risk levels and what this means is that risk is high. But it's also a reflection of the fact that far too many governments the uh, Europeans, the UK, and of course, most importantly, the American government have resorted to printing money in recent times to try and dig themselves out of an economic hole. And that store of value role that gold has in the economic system is always very strong when governments look to debase their paper currencies. And finally, uh, the uranium market is flying this morning. Extract resources shares are up. Now, extract is uh, majority owned by an overseas company called Kalahari Resources. A Chinese company has approached Kalahari with a view to making a takeover. It would seem that if it takes over Kalahari, it would probably make a follow-up bid for extract. Uh, this will test our Foreign Investment Review Board because as yet we've not had a friendly or hostile state-owned Chinese bid for one of our companies and uranium, of course, is a particularly sensitive issue here in Australia. So lots happening on the share market. At the moment it's weak, a lot hinging on the oil price and therefore what happens in Libya.